Hi Taurus, and welcome to your general love reading for mid-April 2022. This reading is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs in Taurus, and it is general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. But if you would like a personal reading, you can find all the information in the description box. Also, I am offering cord cutting sessions. <clears throat> it's at a discounted price for a limited time. Do feel free to email me for more information about that. All right, Taurus, let's see. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the second half of April. What is going on with you? And do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed because this reading is general. All right, so starting off your reading, we have two aces. Wow, okay, so the Ace of Cups crossed by the Ace of Wands. So there is a lot of love here <clears throat> um, between you and another person, but... The challenge is to actually bring this back together. So yes, with the Ace of Wands, I feel like this is a connection from the past. And this is the challenge. This is what is being difficult at the moment is to actually take action to bringing this back in some way. Um, let's see for you. We have the Death card. All right, Scorpio. Some of you might be dealing with the Scorpio. Um, the Seven of Cups and <clears throat> Strength. All right, that's Leo. So some of you might be dealing with a Leo as well, or you might have these signs in your chart. Um, wow, all right, Taurus. There's, there's an ending here that you are processing or are trying to process, but there might be some confusion um, surrounding that or, you know, just surrounding this ending overall. Not really knowing how to go about it, how to think about it, how to feel about it, or what options to take. I feel like you're really being called to have strength at the moment, knowing that things will work out for the best. And I do see you moving in that direction of having the courage and the strength to face whatever this ending is. Let's see for the other person here. We have the Emperor the Eight of Swords, and the Five of Cups. Okay, so there's a person here. Um, so, I mean, it may or may not be the same situation that we have here with this Ace of Cups. Okay, it could be that some of you might be dealing with two different situations, or maybe the other person is dealing with two different situations. Um, there is someone here who is really feeling like they are your person. And they're feeling a lot of grief. Um, a lot of sadness, feeling pretty much like they're stuck in this. So I don't know who it is that is being challenged by taking some action to bring something back, but there is definitely something here um, that holds a lot of love, all right, for you and someone else. But it does feel like you're also going through an ending. So let's see, potential outcome here, we have the Nine of Swords. Okay, so there is, <clears throat> there is some pain here. There is some stress, there is some anxiety concerning this whole situation. But of course, you know, these energies that are in the future, these are just potentials. It's always in your hands and in your control how you decide to deal with what is presented to you, thereby ultimately creating your own future, okay? So it doesn't have to be this Nine of Swords. Maybe it's for the other person. Um, <clears throat> we'll see, let's clarify. So let's clarify the Ace of Cups with the Ace of Wands. All right, and we have the Five of Cups showing up again. And the Emperor showing up again. Wow, okay. So both of these cards showed up in, in the other person's energy. So yeah, it could be that they are the ones who are having a hard time <clears throat> taking some action here um, towards you. And at the same time, you're going through this ending. Oh, usually I get one more here. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm pulling one more and it is the Empress. Wow, so the Emperor and the Empress both showing up here. Um, yeah, there's definitely somebody here that where you have a very deep spiritual connection. It's like the two of you both feel like you are meant for, for one another. 
but there's a lot of sadness attached attached to this possibly something from the past that is creating a lot of grief this could be why you're going through this feeling this ending and really not knowing what to think about it unless this is referring to to something else um, because I definitely feel like there is somebody here where yeah there's a lot of love it's just that for whatever reason this has not been able to come back together okay if there has been some kind of a break or some kind of a split let's see let's clarify death for your energy the five of swords and the two of so the two of wands So you're like, there's an ending here that you are either procrastinating <clears throat> or that you are just not really wanting it to be an ending. And I feel like it might even be both for some of you, if, especially if you're dealing with two different situations. So I can see why you would be confused because this is confusing already. <laughs> um, you're definitely trying to process an ending, but I, I feel like you're actually like holding back from that ending, which may or may not be this person. Um, you're holding, and I feel like I get that for Taurus like quite often. Um, kind of like you're, you're dealing with like so much all the time. So it could even be that you're just kind of, um, Thinking in a way where it's like, it could be a little bit deceptive to your own self in the way that you're thinking about this ending or in the procrastination of it. Hmm, let me see the Seven of Cups. So hopefully you will know what this is about. I mean, if it, if it resonates, if it's your reading, you will know. If it doesn't, well then, you know, it might just not be your reading. All right, so for the Seven of Cups, we have the... Not the knight. This is a new deck. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> All right, that's the that's the knight of swords with the queen of wands. It's like you're really trying to figure out what is what it is that is in alignment with you. That's what you are confused about. Like, what is it exactly that is for you? What is it that speaks your truth? And so because of that, I feel like there's a lot of restlessness in your energy. Like, you know, it's like, what the hell is going on here? Like, you want what is best for you. You want what you feel is going to be, you know, like not just what you deserve, but like what you feel is yours. That's how this is coming in. But there's confusion around that. Almost like what you feel is what you would want and what you desire either doesn't make sense to you and therefore it's confusing. Um, but at the same time, you're finding yourself like in this like almost deceptive kind of an energy. Uh, confusing, Taurus. You're confused, so therefore I'm confused. <laughs> but it's something along these lines. Um, let me see strength, because I do see you moving in a more positive direction here. I feel like this is all going to clear up. So clarifying strength, yeah, we have the two of swords, which is your confusion, um, and the four of wands. Yeah, confusion about a commitment, uh, confusion about where it is that you belong, who, what it is that belongs to you, feeling at home. This is exactly what I was trying to say before. So I feel like you're gaining the strength as well as the clarity to really um, fight through that confusion here. There's something here that in your mind doesn't make sense. It's like what you're feeling doesn't make sense or where you're at right now. And that could be why you're trying to deal with an ending here, but that you're kind of procrastinating. It just doesn't feel like home to you. There's something conflicting there. It doesn't feel like it's your truth. And so you're moving towards finding that strength, finding that courage to really, you know, come to terms with that and then see what you're going to do after that. Ooh, all right, Taurus. Again, roles can be reversed. 
Let's see this other person's energy here. Let's see the Emperor. And we have the King of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. Wow. There's a person here who wants commitment with you. There's a person here who's very stable who really knows this truth. Um, and I feel like you know that too. Maybe it's a difficult situation. Maybe it's somebody that, you know, um, maybe it's because of them, right? That, that the two of you cannot bring this back together. Maybe it's something that completely depends on them and not on you for some of you, you know, that's, so that's understandable, but I'm just reading the energy here. This, this is somebody though, who does feel like, and who knows that it's like the two of you belong together. And it's like, you do too, you're just confused about it, Pop, maybe because of something that they have done or because they're not allowing this to come together. And that could be the case because we have this Eight of Swords here. And maybe that's not the case. Maybe it is completely dependent on you and maybe it is your own choice. And maybe you were, you know, just kind of turning a blind eye to this particular connection for whatever reason. Okay, it could be, it could be for various reasons for each of you. So let's see the Eight of Swords for this person. We have ooh, the Ace of Cups. I'm telling you, this is crazy. And the Seven of Cups. Wow. So you have the Seven of Cups as a main energy in your second card. They have it as a clarifier for their second card. Um, it's completely different, though. This confusion is different. This person is, is definitely feeling this love for you, right? The Ace of Cups showing up twice whoever this is, there's a lot of love here. Um, and this person feels trapped in some way, in something. There's a lot of overanalyzing, thinking about all of this a lot. And so they too are, even though they know this truth, they too are confused about what, what it is that might actually be going on. I feel like they, they don't know what's going on with you, to be honest. Um, it's like, it almost feels like they're confused at your confusion. They're confused at you being confused. Let's see this Five of Cups. The Five of Wands and the sun. Okay. So Leo showing up for a second time in this reading. Whatever it is that's happening here, this person is feeling a lot of sadness, right? We have the five of cups showing up twice. We have the ace of cups showing up twice. I mean, we just have so many cards showing up twice. We have the emperor showing up twice. We have the seven of cups showing up twice. <laughs> like, wow. Um, There's a lot of conflict here for this person. It could even be that they are up against some external um, energies as well, having to face resistance outside of the connection for some of them. But for the most part, I feel like they're just very, very conflicted with what it is that is going on because they, they feel like they belong with you Um, but there seems to be a lot of confusion on your side about it. And so there's there's a lot of grief here. I feel like this person is actually depressed. Okay. Let's see the Nine of Swords for the potential outcome and just any message that Spirit wants to give you about that. Eight of Cups, I mean, and that Eight of Cups fell out on its own, um, whereas I'm pulling from the top. All right, so Eight of Cups, the Tower, and the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, this is totally in your control. It does not have to be this Nine of Swords. I mean, I definitely feel like this person is in this kind of an energy um, because they, they don't have this connection. So they're like grieving this loss. 
Um, so what I feel like the message for you is, is this Eight of Cups is to walk away from whatever it is that is not serving you. Maybe it's this person. Okay, then walk away from it. That's not how I feel about it, That from just based off the cards that I see here. Um, but walk away from whatever it is that you feel is not serving you. Because there, it, like I said in the beginning, there is some kind of a self-deception happening here, that some kind of an ending that you might be procrastinating for something. And it doesn't have to be like a situation like work or, you know, another commitment or, you know, I mean, it could just be something within your own self, like putting an end to a certain behavior or to a certain way of thinking or to a certain fear. It's going to be different for each of you. But I feel like there might be a little bit of procrastination for that. And I mean, that's okay. That's okay. You know, just take the messages slowly and, you know, as you feel is right for you, if this resonates for you. Again, could be the other way around. Um, yeah, it's like you're being asked to walk away from that, even if it creates a tower, even if it's something that seems intimidating or a little bit scary at first, because that's how you will avoid, you know, staying or being in this Nine of Swords energy, which is, you know, being really stressed. Take those first steps, the Seven of Pentacles, you know, just start... You're just being asked to take it one step at a time. Just little things. Just organizing little things in your mind, even just to begin with. In terms of this detachment here, whatever that is. All right, Taurus. Let's see. Final message for you if this resonated. And we have narrow pathway. Tread thoughtfully. Yeah, because I feel like, I mean, it's very interesting that we got this card. Because it's it's so similar to this last message here. Tread thoughtfully, you know. Um, the pathway is a little narrow here. If you stay in the same energy, it's like it's just leading up to more of the same, the same energy. So something here is being asked of you to, to shift. So... Um, you will find your way. You will find your way. You have strength here. You will find your way is what I'm getting. All right, Taurus, those are your messages. I thank you so much for watching and much love.